Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to come to a complete stop and a proper stop in a tractor trailer. There are a lot of people out there that do not really know exactly what to do with the shifting, how far away from the stop sign to stop. So today we're going to be showing you on our fancy dancy simulator. So we're one of the few schools in the entire country to actually offer simulation training. So when you become a student of our school, not only are you going to be able to play around in this training yard right over here as you can see you're actually going to get time on a simulator just like this one to make sure that you get uh, comfortable shifting and driving on the road in different kind of weather conditions as well this machine here we can say that gives you years of experience within just a few days of training so let's kind of go through it so right now we're in a uh, stick shift transmission the first thing we have to do is do a proper safe start safe start means that the uh, transmission is in neutral i'm going to turn the key all the way on I'm going to make sure the brakes are pulled out, and then it's time to get rocking and rolling. So that air, that buzzer that you hear now, that's actually the air pressure building up. So we're going to give it a little bit of gas so the air pressure can build up. So now we're good to go. We're going to go up to about 120 PSI, and then we're good to go. So we we're going to release both brakes. And as you can see, we are in a dock situation. So we just picked up a load. Now it's time to start to deliver this thing. So, uh, what we do in most cases, depending on how heavy your load is, uh, we usually teach our students to start off in fourth gear. If the load is super, super heavy, then you're going to want to start off in first or second gear, so and then the truck is okay. But I think we should be okay in fourth gear. That's hopefully I don't stall. So you're going to put the clutch all the way down, put it in gear, and then you're going to come off the clutch slowly, and you're going to see that we're moving forward, okay? Now you can tell that there's that lagging time uh, because, of the because of the amount of weight that's in there. So we're gonna go up to the stop sign here and it's time to shift. So when it comes to shifting, you can only double clutch itself. I wanna watch out for this guy over here. He's coming in my direction. And I wanna make sure that we're good. Now a stop sign is coming. So we wanna make sure that we are prepared for that. Now, two things you can do. You can either downshift now, so say we're going to downshift from 5th to 4th, so clutch into neutral, gas is 1600, clutch into 4th gear, so I downshifted. You do not always have to downshift to 1st gear, uh, so you can just downshift 1 or 2 gears depending on what you want to do, so I'll show you again, clutch, gas, clutch, now I'm in 3rd gear, or you can just keep it in gear itself, put your foot all the way down on the clutch and press on the brake, okay? So you do not necessarily have to shift. So an example, say that you're driving on the road and all of a sudden the light changes from green to yellow, you don't really have time to downshift. Do not worry about downshifting. Just push your foot on the clutch and on the brake at the same time and make sure you come to a complete stop. For the road test itself, do not put this thing into neutral and come to a stop like a lot of people with bad habits do. Now, the thing that you should understand is where should you stop in the stop line? So as you can see in this video here, the stop line is clearly in front of my entire vehicle. Now, in this, in this situation, I have clear view of everything that's happening, so I do not necessarily have to pull up anymore. But if I wanted to pull up, as long as I stop before the stop sign, I can then pull up more. So, I, so I'm, going to I'm going to show you how it looks like to pull up more towards the corner. Put it back in fourth gear, come off the clutch slowly, no gas. I'm going to stop again right before the corner. I can look both ways again, and I'm going to make a left turn. So when you're making a left turn or any other turns like uh, like before, same thing. We're going to stay, stay. Oh, the other thing I should tell you is, say we just came to a complete stop. The clutch is still all the way down. I put my foot on the brake. I did not have to go into neutral because I'm going to start off in fourth at the same time. So I'm going to come off the clutch, nice and easy. I'm going to make this turn, look in both ways. Super, super important that you go to the center of the intersection before you turn. That's whether you're making a right or a left, and you make sure you're doing a hand over hand turning. You want to stay as super wide as possible. Left turns are much easier than right turns to be to perform, right? So boom, there you go. So now the cool, th the one thing, the tip that I want to let you know about shifting and turning is: do not shift until the whole tractor trailer is straight. So bada boom, bada boom. Now we just shifted. So that is pretty much exactly what you have to do to interact with any type of stopping situation, whether it's a stop sign or whether it is a uh, traffic light. 
Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this quick lesson. If you like more of this stuff, make sure you comment below on this video, hit like, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Super, super important so we can help out more people just like you. But if you're ready to get into the seat and you're ready to get yourself on your road to freedom, we have a mission of helping a million people get on the road to freedom. And what's more free than driving where you want to go and making more money while you're doing it. So if you are interested in learning more about getting a CDL license and you want to get your CDL license from the best driving school around, the only one thing you should do is give us a call at 908-525-3609 or take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks. Have a fantastic day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.